Hey, it's Jeff here, your YouTube reviewer of New England Brews. Welcome back to NEBR, New England Beer Reviews, from Connecticut. Shabian Brewing, and this is their Turbo IPA, with an alcohol by volume of 7% ABV. you got to get a load of what they describe this like on the side of the bottle here. Uh, listen to what goes into this. It says, this East Coast India Pale Ale is made with five different grains, 14 hop infusions, and over three pounds of hops per barrel. We backload the hops at the end of the boil and dry hop to add more hop aroma than bitterness. And hop heads dream come true. That's what it says there on the side of the label here. So, Shabian, I've only had one, maybe two beers by them before. They're out of Connecticut and uh, they're not available in New Hampshire where I live, but I have had them in uh, Connecticut and Rhode Island during visits over the years, so this one gets uh, gets my attention because it uh, seems like a huge hop thing. And boy, I haven't even poured into the glass yet. You can pick up those hops coming right off that perfume of hops coming right off the top of that bottle here. Okay, let's give it a pour. In the 603. Oh, a little hoppy, uh, a little heady here. Not hoppy, heady. Okay, set this down. All right, well, I guess I don't have to worry about the head. Uh, it may have been a bit of an aggressive pour, but let's take a look at the way it uh, appears. And I'd say it's kind of on the golden, mostly pale yellow side, uh, slightly on the golden side, if held up to the light or held up to the sun or something. But I would call it more uh, akin to pale yellow or just yellow in general with this tremendous white creamy head. Um, okay, aroma-wise, I said I already picked up those hops. I am picking up hops, but there's a good, uh, there's a sort of a nice grainy malt presence too. Kind of reminds me of a bit of a Pilsner here. And uh, it's got that sort of German malt character of Pilsners. So for something that's called Turbo IPA, I really expect it to be blown back by hops, especially with 14 different hops uh, in the brewing process. But I'm getting hops, more the grassy kind. It's not an in-your-face sort of hoppiness, it's a grassy sort of hop. I'm wondering how old this bottle might be, I do not know. Because if it's a few months old, then maybe the hops have faded some. But anyway, that's not an offensive aroma. It's not a bad aroma, just not as hop forward as I was led to believe by reading that label. So, let's check out the taste. <clears throat> Very easy drinking beer. Oh, the hops are more so in the taste. I'm picking up a bit of a, bit of a more of a pucker-up hoppiness in the taste than I got on the nose. Yeah, that's definitely got a bit of a lingering hop bitterness at the end, so that's a good thing for hopheads. I'm not necessarily a hophead, but for people who are hopheads, I think they will be satisfied by that bitterness in the taste. Uh, but anyway, body is in the light to medium, or medium range. It's not super heavy, but it's not light and thin it's 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 uh, kind of uh, it's kind of uh, you know, mo moderate medium I'd say but it's very easy to drink and then the taste you get that grain character in the front mm. grain character in the front and then more of those resiny and you pick up some of that pine and floral hop characters uh, come rolling in at the back as I said it gets much more bitter in the taste than you might imagine by taking a whiff from the glass. So, hmm. Sweet, toasty, malty, and also hopped, but not super hopped up. It's it's uh, moderately hopped, is how I would define it. So, but it's, it's a nicely balanced beer. It seems to go together really well. It uh, has a good variety of flavors going on. The grains and the hops uh, all kind of mingling together and balancing things out. Well, that's that. I'll take the rest in and drink it later, but, you know, it's not a bad beer. It says, with 25 years of brewing experience, Shabin was founded, founded on the philosophy of brewing unique and artfully crafted beers dare to be different. Slante. Well, that's what it says up top. You already hear what it says down below. So, that'll do it for today. This is the Shabin Brewing Turbo IPA. Thanks for stopping by. Catch you again next time.